Welcome back to a new video, it's so nice to talk to you again. Before I start, I want to quickly announce that I updated my Patreon page again. So if you decide to become my Patreon, you can be now part of my awesome Discord group to chat with me and see some private streams. And you will have access to secret postings and progress shots of my artworks that I only upload on Patreon. Each month you will get a new discount code from my shop and if you become a mighty dragon fruit, I will send you a monthly PDF package with a wide bunch of high quality scans of my sketches, illustrations and line arts to print and collect. If this sounds good for you, consider to become my Patreon and support my art. It's a big help to fund my videos and future projects. The materials I got are mainly highlighter pens, pencils, um, common office supplies and a small sketchbooklet. Nothing special, but to be honest, I was pretty surprised to receive these common things, which are not really artsy, even if you can make good art with it. Because it depends a bit on your skill to make something nice with it. But it was fun to work with these supplies and create something different than usual. I really liked the challenge, but I guess I would have been pretty disappointed to get these supplies if I would actually pay these boxes. I don't know, it's just my view, my opinion is pretty much divided on this. I like the challenge and um, I like that it's something different, but I also try to see it from the customer side. I don't know, what do you think? Was it a good choice of sending these office supplies? Do you think it was good because it clearly challenged people to become creative with uncommon tools to make art? Or do you think that an art subscription box you clearly pay for should include more artsy stuff that are worth the price? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like I said, I can see both sides, but I tend to think that it's not the best idea to send those common offers or school supplies as an art subscription box, even if it's an awesome challenge. Most of these supplies are water-based, so making line arts first and then start to color with smudge everything. But I've seen some artists who just worked with water and brushes to mix and add the colors to create a soft coloration or a soft gradation, which is a pretty nifty idea. I was not that smart and just tried to blend the colors and add some line arts over it. Rambutan just kept it simple. <laughs> it was my first time making art and not random school doodles with highlighters. It was refreshing just to do something different than usual. And maybe next time I would like to try it again with water and a brush. Could be interesting. Have you ever made art with highlighters? I would love to see it. If you like, you can tag me on Instagram or use the hashtag HelloRumble to show me your creations. If you haven't done this before, I challenge you to try it out by yourself. You don't need the scroll box for it, just grab some cheap highlighters and go. The original art and poster prints are available in my shop. Make sure to check it out if you're interested. Question of the day. A lot of people think comic is art and manga is not. What do you think about it and can you guess why people think that way? It's always a topic I feel confronted with and I would just love to read your opinions and see if you share the same thoughts. Every opinion is welcome and I know I have an awesome, nice and friendly community, so let's keep it that way even if somebody shares a different opinion than yours. Just stay nice. Thanks for watching. Have a nice weekend and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!